Hi. The lovely L. Nice to finally meet you. Xander Cruz, it's amazing to meet you too. I, I, I followed your work in the biotech sphere. It's impressive. <laughs> and you are very formidable. Uh, you're going through a lot of challenging times, but you don't back down. I'm very passionate about my work. I love seeing your passion. Which is why I'd like you to take a closer look at Lilith. Maybe re-examine your first impressions? <laughs> now, I'm not interested in talking to the toaster again, but I, I do like the sound of your voice. Why don't you try to convince me? Okay. I don't think you gave Lilith a fair shot. Now, I admit that her showing you a mannequin hand wasn't the most convincing, but there is a lot about her that should be. Don't take it personal. I just think the, the whole project is flawed. That's what I mean. You met her thinking she was already a failed project. What? Okay, then illuminate me. Okay. I mean, in just a few short weeks, we've seen Lilith grow from a blank slate to a being with emotions and, and preferences. She's evolving before our very eyes. But that's her job, right? I mean, the, the whole thing's for her to, her purpose is to glom onto whatever you tell her to. No, you can't discount her growth just because she's designed to grow. No, she's executing a program. Mm, that ignores her complex feelings. What feelings? She makes friends like she's, un, she's, uh, she's achieving Xbox achievements. What about her relationship with Asher? Your fuzzy uh, boy toy? <laughs> um, she likes him, just like she likes everybody else. No, you've watched the streams. It's more than that. I mean, we joke that she has a crush on him. I think she has real feelings for him. And that puts you in an awkward position, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm not threatened by her. I'm fascinated by her. I mean, think about it. She didn't develop those feelings for Justin or Matt or me, for that matter. Only Asher. Well, that's a fun puzzle, but it's skin deep. It's her first uh, exposure to romantic relationships. Mm -hmm, sure, but she's learned a lot more about them since then, and she hasn't developed feelings for anyone else. So she's a monogamous robot. Hmm. I don't see the pill in that. It's her choice. <laughs> so I'm never going to be able to convince you that she's anything more than a robot running a script. I hate to disappoint you, Elle, but hmm. spoiler alert, humans have souls, machines don't. Oh, so that's it. You don't like her because you think she doesn't have a soul. How would you define a soul? Ah, uh, well, you can't define it. You feel it, you know it. You know when it's not there. I think you're lying. I think you could define it. Now, I don't know how you would define it. Maybe it's a spiritual entity. Maybe it's energy bubbling around in your brain. I know how I would define it. I think of a soul as consciousness. Emotions, self-awareness, preferences, all wrapped up to make us who we are. And you think Lilith has all that? I think it's a possibility. I love your optimism, babe. The enthusiasm of the youth keeps the world spinning. Well, babe, it's the stubbornness of the older generation that fuels our passion. Ooh, I like the spicy side of you. You know, I have openings in my company, too. Nice positions.